Hello everyone and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today I'm going to be showing you how to level a 3D printer bed just like this here. Now the prerequisites for this job are you're going to need a notebook card or a business card and an X-Acto knife and or razor blade, a pair of tweezers which is optional and you'll need a shop towel and something to clean off the uh, bed and the nozzle with either or definitely need some isopropyl alcohol and you might need some acetone if you've been printing with ABS and you need to clean off the nozzle. Now let's go ahead and get into the process of leveling our 3D printer bed. Now first what you want to do before we even start leveling the 3D printer bed is we want to clean off the bed surface and the actual extruder nozzle that we're going to use the level it with. Now with the bed it's easy you just use a bit of alcohol some uh, isopropyl alcohol or denatured to clean off the bed and make sure to, and then use a razor blade to scrape off any old prints or any uh, residue that's stuck on the actual bed itself. Now as for the nozzle, it's a little bit more trickier here. What you'll need to do is you'll need to heat up the nozzle to temperature and you'll need to scrape it off. You may want to use some acetone if it's ABS and uh, wipe off once you scrape most of it off. And of course, one thing I am crucially forgetting now I want to go ahead and lay a shop towel down on our heated print bed and we'll want to scrape off using an X-Acto knife or razor blade any uh, remaining residue from previous prints on our, our hot end nozzle. Keep saying, we'll keep wanting to say extruder for some reason. Extruder is actually the part up here with the motor and the drip gear. Let's go ahead and scrape this off. Make sure to get as much as possible. Now, if there's a lot of gunk on the hot end head, take some acetone or acetone, whatever you have, you want to pronounce it, put it on a rag. Preferably, we only need to do this while gloved. I'm sorry that I don't. I just have a little bit here, but just uh, wipe it on the end and get the rest of the, or as much residue as possible. The very least, you want to make sure your the tip is nice and clean. You can also use some tweezers, kind of grip it and scrape it. Now, of course, cleaning off the nozzle will do two things. It will aid in, or it will prevent any of the actual residue or the uh, the bits of plastic that are stuck on it to become impregnated in your future prints, as well as making it easier and more accurate to level the print between the print head and the bed. So now that we have everything cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heater for the nozzle and we'll wait for that to cool down a little bit so it doesn't keep oozing out plastic. Now that we've let the hot end nozzle cool down, we want to take a note card. You can also do, take a business card as well. And we're going to place it underneath between the nozzle and the bed while we level. Okay, before we uh, start leveling here, we want to go ahead and raise our bed up. Not all the way, just yet. What we want to do is we want to take these uh, springs and get them tight as possible or tension down as, po as much as possible. Now the reason we want to be able to do this is first, we don't want to lose any potential print uh, Z height. So we want to try to get as much as that or take advantage of the amount of space as possible by lowering the distance between the bed and the actual support for the bed here. So we'll take all these. You can press down with it. Of course, you'll want to clean it up with uh, before you try to print anything. But the minor oils from your hands won't mess up the calibration process too much. And of course, you'll have to move your hands around anyway. So not a huge deal. But yeah, get it, get it as tight as possible without ruining the springs. So as you can see here, the spring is nice and tight. We want to do the same with all. There are three uh, springs in, or three leveling points. In this particular printer here, usually there's about four or so in most printers. Those go for a bit more, not too tight. You do want to be able to back these off easily. Now that we have all of these screws as tight as possible and the bed lowered as much as possible, let's go ahead and raise it up to the max height before it hits the end stop. Now in some printers, there'll be an end stop screw you'll have to adjust in the uh, usually in the back where this end stop is it just basically an end stop is nothing but a switch that uh, con or dictates where the top mo or where the printer bed reaches the uh, nozzles or the opposite where its lowest point is so essentially you'll want to get that you want to adjust that first pretty much in a ballpark uh, to where you have some room to slide the note card underneath here but not too much room but with this particular printer that does not have an adjustable in stop um, 
screw or anything like that to mess around with so we just have to use the springs to do our all, all of our adjustments here so first off i'm going to loosen this corner here i'm probably going to do some of the other corners so i don't bend the bed which i don't think will really be too big of a problem with this particular printer because it has a thick aluminum sheet and a thick glass sheet but essentially we want to loosen these screws up or these wing nuts to the point where i can just barely slide the card in here. Okay, so I just wanted to give you all a better view here. So essentially what I'm doing is on three, each of these three leveling points, there's wing nuts on each side where these springs are. And basically I wanna give it enough clearance to where this particular note card on each end goes between the nozzle and the bed just tight enough to where it kind of scrapes a little bit, but not so tight that I can't move it freely. And of course, I don't wanna have it, you know, so loose that it just slides right through when you don't even feel it so that is our criteria so right now yep nothing i don't know if you can hear that over the fan but yeah you can definitely hear a little bit of scraping which is good that's what we want just a little bit not to the like i said not to the point to where it's you're not going to be able to actually move the card but definitely not or just to the point where it scrapes just a little bit so you can actually feel what's going on. So there we go. Let's get our final point up. Okay, if I do it too much, I can't even move the thing. So loosen her up. Still a little bit too loose. So you got to find that sweet spot. Just turn it just a little bit. There we go. And just confirm on each side. Make sure it's still good to go. Okay, so show you all a different angle. Just want to scrape it right between the bed, just barely to where, and just do that to all points and make sure that the uh, nozzle can move freely across the entire bed to make sure there's no, uh, nothing heavily deformed here. For like, for instance, a little weird that the middle is, has such heavy resistance here and always keep in mind that when you do adjust one side, you want to make sure that the other sides are even. So you want to go go across the bed a few times just to make sure everything's good to go and kosher. It's a pretty tedious process, but yeah, just keep practicing. It'll get a lot quicker. Initially, it'll be slow. All right, folks, that's about it. That's how you level a 3D printer bed. Now, your printer may be a little bit different in terms of how you set up the bed and everything, the nozzle together. But I just read, there are usually instructions or online forms you can go to to get assistance on that. But I do hope you all found this video helpful. Leave some comments below on what you thought about it. And like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out some of our other videos here as well.